We're talking here uh, with Neil Burns, who's running for Congress in the 8th District of Texas. Uh, what brings you to this um, convention um, as a delegate? What's, sure. What is your, talk, talk to me about that. Sure, I was at the state convention, and of course uh, I, I represent eight counties, and both Senate District 4 and Senate District 5, and uh, I wanted to come here to promote my Freedom Act. And uh, what better place to do it? You know, a lot of candidates on here because they think that this is more of a rallying cry and a stage cry. But personally, I want to get the message to as many leaders of our parties as we can. I've started a bill called the Freedom Act. And basically, it stands for fair representation in every election, democracy over money. The root cause of the problem that's happening with this polarization in Congress is too much money flowing in the hands of these special interests. What this bill does is it calls for a bipartisan panel that has no power but will report on every aspect of a bill before it gets passed in Congress and they'll report it to you and they'll report it to the C-SPANs of the world and it's amazing how the dialogue and the uh, effort changes. Yeah. So, and that transparency always helps it too. Oh, it's wonderful and that's the whole thing with it and it, it requires some uh, limits on super PAC contributions. Supreme Court might hit me up there and say no we've tried that but Mine is more an FEC, Federal Elections Commission, rules on that, and I think that we could get it passed. Rather than going for a constitutional amendment, which is going to take five, ten years, this thing can be quick, and it can happen to get big, big money out of that influence peddling.